Hello, I'm Heather with Especially Paper. This is the first video in the tutorial series for the Wallflower Number no. 1 Paper Flower Template. This is an extra large 22 inch flower. If you haven't already downloaded it, you can find the template at especiallypaper.com. It's available in SVG and DXF format for use with Cricut Design Space or Silhouette Studio. I wouldn't call this a difficult template, but there are quite a few nuances a lot of pieces, and multiple options for some steps. So I've graded the skill level for this project as intermediate. The center, in particular, is more sculptural than most of my templates. That's part of what makes this one of my favorites. I hope you like it as well and enjoy crafting your own. I use a mix of hand cutting and machine cutting when I create these flowers. I prefer to cut the petals by hand. They're easy, don't need to be precise, and it's faster than cutting by machine but the template includes options for either approach. When cutting by hand, don't forget to mark the fold at the notch in the template. You'll be cutting on the fold of the petal up to that point. Cut the rest of the pieces on your Silhouette or Cricut Explore craft cutter. If you scale the pieces, be sure to select all the center pieces together and scale them proportionately or they won't fit together properly. If you're new to using SVG or DXF files, with Cricut Design Space or Silhouette Studio, check out my channel for how-to videos on those steps. There are two base options, one for five petals and one for six. The only difference in these bases is the number of notches around the edge. They are there as a guide to help you space the petals evenly. Now that you've gotten a bit of background, cut your pieces and you'll be ready for the next video in this tutorial, Shaping the Stamens. As always, you can find the templates at especiallypaper.com.